Java interview questions and tips for HCL. Hi, thank you for clicking on this video. If you are about to attend any Java interview, I suggest you to watch this video till end. I assure you will get some good knowledge. In this training video, I will give you 10 most asked Java interview questions along with their best answers. I will also give you the five important tips to impress your interviewer while giving Java technical interview. So if you are applying for Java programmer role whatsoever, make sure you stay tuned. Because I promise to help you be successful. Now just very quickly, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Literally thousands of you are getting hired. I can only help you if you are subscribed and please give this video a like because that really does motivate me to create more content for you. Thank you very much. Okay, let's jump straight into the video. So to help you, I will cover the following things in this tutorial. Number one, I will tell you the five mistakes you must always avoid when giving Java interview. If you make any of these five mistakes, you will definitely get rejected. Number two, I will then tell you the five best tips so no can stop you to be selected. Number three, I will then give you 10 most asked Java interview questions, which is best of freshers and experienced. Here are top 10 Java HCL interview questions and answers. Question one, what is your experience with Java? Answer, I have extensive experience working with Java, including developing and maintaining enterprise level applications, implementing complex algorithms and designing scalable architectures. I am proficient in using Java frameworks such as Spring and Hibernate, and I have a solid understanding of object-oriented programming principles. Question 2. What are the differences between abstraction and encapsulation in Java? Answer. Abstraction and encapsulation are two fundamental concepts in object-oriented programming. Abstraction is the process of hiding complex implementation details and presenting a simpler interface to the user. Encapsulation, on the other hand, is the process of wrapping data and methods into a single unit, preventing direct access to the internal state of the object. In Java, abstraction is achieved through abstract classes and interfaces, while encapsulation is achieved through access modifiers such as public, private, and protected. Question 3. What is the difference between a hash map and a hash table in Java? Answer. Hash map and hash table are both data structures used for storing key value pairs in Java. The main difference between them is that HashMap is not thread safe, while HashTable is thread safe. Additionally, HashMap allows null values and null keys, while HashTable does not. Question 4. What is the purpose of the Java Virtual Machine, JVM? Answer. The Java Virtual Machine, JVM, is a software platform that allows Java code to be executed on different hardware and operating systems without modification. It acts as an intermediary between the Java code and the underlying hardware, providing a layer of abstraction that ensures the same code runs consistently on different platforms. Question 5. Can you explain the concept of polymorphism in Java? Answer. Polymorphism is the ability of objects to take on different forms depending on the context in which they are used. In Java, polymorphism is achieved through inheritance and interfaces. A subclass can inherit methods and properties from its superclass, while an interface defines a contract that implementing classes must adhere to. Polymorphism allows for greater flexibility and reusability in software development. Question 6. What are the differences between an abstract class and an interface in Java? Answer. Abstract classes and interfaces are both used for abstraction and defining contracts in Java. The main difference between them is that an abstract class can have both abstract and non-abstract methods, while an interface can only have abstract methods. Additionally, a class can extend only one abstract class, while it can implement multiple interfaces. Question 7. What is the purpose of the final keyword in Java? Answer. The final keyword is used to indicate that a variable, method, or class cannot be changed or extended. A final variable cannot be reassigned once it is initialized, a final method cannot be overridden by a subclass, and a final class cannot be subclassed. Question 8. What are some best practices for exception handling in Java? Answer. Some best practices for exception handling in Java include using specific exceptions rather than generic ones, logging exceptions with as much detail as possible, providing meaningful error messages to the user, and handling exceptions at the appropriate level of abstraction. Question 9. What is the purpose of the synchronized keyword in Java? Answer. The synchronized keyword is used to provide thread safety in Java. It ensures that only one thread can access a critical section of code at a time, preventing race conditions and other concurrency issues. 
Synchronized methods and blocks are used to achieve synchronization in Java. Question 10. What is the purpose of the finalize method in Java? Answer. The finalize method is a method defined in the object class that is called by the garbage collector when an object is about to be destroyed. It can be used to perform any necessary cleanup operations before the object is removed from memory. However, the finalize method is not guaranteed to be called and should not be relied upon for critical cleanup operations. Now let quickly give you five of those important tips while giving Java interview. Number one, review the basics. Before going into the interview, make sure you have a strong understanding of the basics of Java, such as data types, control structures, and object-oriented programming concepts. Number two, practice coding. Practice coding on a whiteboard or paper, as this is often a common part of a Java interview. It's important to be able to write code without the aid of an IDE or compiler, so get used to writing and debugging code by hand. Number three, be prepared for technical questions. Java interviews will likely have technical questions related to Java concepts, frameworks, and tools. Make sure you have a good understanding of the technical skills required for the job you're interviewing for, and be prepared to discuss your experience and past projects. Number four, communicate effectively. During the interview, make sure to communicate your thoughts clearly and effectively. Explain your thought process as you work through a problem, and be sure to ask clarifying questions if necessary. Number five, demonstrate your problem-solving skills. Java interviews may involve problem-solving exercises, so be prepared to work through complex problems and demonstrate your problem-solving skills. Try to approach problems systematically and be open to feedback and suggestions from the interviewer. Now in this last, it's very important to know which mistakes to avoid in an HCL Java interview. Number one, lack of preparation. One of the biggest mistakes you can make is to go into an interview without proper preparation. Make sure you review the basics of Java programming, understand object-oriented programming concepts, and have a good grasp of common algorithms and data structures used in Java. Number two, poor communication skills. Communication skills are crucial in any job interview. Be prepared to clearly and concisely explain your thought process and problem-solving skills, and listen carefully to the interviewer's questions and feedback. Number three, overconfidence. While confidence is important, overconfidence can be a turnoff for interviewers. Be confident in your abilities, but also be humble enough to admit when you don't know something. Number four, ignoring best practices. Java is a language with many best practices and standards, such as coding conventions, code formatting, and design patterns. Be sure to follow these best practices and demonstrate that you understand them during the interview. Number five, lack of hands-on experience. Java is a hands-on language, and interviewers will likely ask you to write code or solve problems on a whiteboard or computer. Make sure you have practical experience with Java by working on projects or solving problems on coding platforms. Now if you want to download all of this interview questions and tips, click that link which will take you straight to my website and you can download all of this content. Okay just before I go, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am here to help you progress throughout your career, I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please give the video a like because that really does motivate me to create more content for you and don't forget to connect with me on Facebook, I have put my Facebook link in the description below the video. It's always a pleasure to connect with minded professionals such as yourself, thank you so much for watching and I wish you all the very best in your career, have a great day ahead.